See, because when I came into the industry, I was known as Mr. N.C. Sippy's son. I was not Raj Sippy. I mean, Raj Sippy, okay, was who, you know? I was known as Mr. Sippy's son, N.C. Sippy's son. So that was a plus point, definitely. For that reason, even my brother, because my brother was already a producer. So that was again another asset. That's right. Uh, and after it's a lot more easier actually. You see, it's not it's not difficult working with them. The only thing is what I feel is you have to you have to make that person feel very comfortable. You see, because when he's doing his first film, I mean obviously he's conscious about a lot of things. You know, that, that he, I mean, he doesn't hurt anybody or he doesn't say something which is going to go against him. So I think all that should disappear. See, because when I did pick up Akshay, I mean, I knew he's a good looker. I knew who could, he could do a damn good job. This is the other side now, when he's on the sets. Make that guy or make that girl feel comfortable. Make them feel part of the unit. And I think the battle is won. You made a dancer out of Sanjay, a, a guy who was yeah. sexy. Yeah. See, Sanj, we sat down one day and we decided. Sanju and myself, both of us. I mean, this was obviously, I had to sit with Sanju because I had to know what he felt about the whole thing. And I said, Sanj, this is what we are planning. What do you think about it? He took a pause. He said, Duds, go right ahead. Let's do it. For two months, literally, I know one thing for a fact. He was in Kulu Manali. Saroj's assistant, that is Nimesh, he's a dance director today. He went there. He was with Sanj all the time. Whenever Sanju had, uh, you know, time from his shooting, his, uh, I mean, he had that uh, little uh, gap. Nimesh used to sit with him, work out the steps. This took us two months. And we were at uh, the Satyam Hall, where we, where we normally rehearse. And that was the day when I had about 20 boys and 20 girls rehearsing for the same song. And Sanju walked in and said, Sanj, ready? He said, yeah. And trust me, he did three-fourths of the song. I won't say the total song. Three-fourths of the song. And it was an eight-minute song. So I'm talking about six minutes. He did six minutes of the song with the steps. Perfect. In fact, Saroj was there and Saroj was like zapped. She couldn't believe what she was seeing. I mean, she knew he's going to do a good job because he's been trained for two months. But this, no way. I mean, she was, she was totally zapped. So were the boys and the girls. And I mean, I was, you know, I was dumbfounded. I didn't know, what, I didn't know how to react. He was that good. And then when we were shooting the song, see, he does not have, his co-artist is not, is not a nobody. She is a terrific dancer. That's Madhuri. She's an absolute terrific dancer. And when Madhuri was there, I mean, it was not easy for Sanju because, you know, and believe you me, not that it's anything, I mean, I don't have anything against Madhuri, but when the song was seen by a lot of people before it released, I mean, they even commented that Sanju has probably done a better job than the girl, I mean, which, was, which was our trump card, you know. I mean, we felt very nice about it. Sanju obviously felt great, but we felt better. That, okay, what we planned out, what we thought of, worked. And it did help the film. I mean, it helped the film, like, galore. Even your forthcoming film, Amanat, one sees Sanju dancing. Yeah. And uh, another thing I'd like to ask you is, you know, now with this kind of a problem, the film has been delayed for release. So yeah. How do you see the future of the film? No, I'm happening? just, see, I mean, the idea that we have delayed the film is because we'd like to know. I mean, we'd like to know about, you know, about Sanju, because Sanju is, is more a friend also. I guess we're waiting. We'll probably get to know another week or so where he stands, where we stand. And then we'll decide and we'll cross the bridge when we come to it, I guess. 
see, I mean, one to obviously the song, that was, I mean, the major packet of the film. Then his scenes that he has done in the police station, you know. Because when we worked out that Sanj is going to be a comedian in the film, in the first half, a lot of people thought I was crazy. I mean, that Sanju Dutt, an action uh, hero, playing a comedian. But believe you me, that guy is a comedian in real life. I said, why not cash on that? I mean, because then he's, I mean, he re he's really not probably performing. He's himself. And believe you me, the scenes that he's done in the police station are mind-blowing. I mean, it's not because I've done it or Sanju's done it. They are terrific. So that scene, the song, I mean, these were, these were like lovely moments in the film. Yeah. Comedy. Yeah, that is. Now, being a director who's done so many different emotions, what is it that you know catches your? This is your best. Uh, you know. No, I'll tell you one thing. For me, see if I if I if I say that comedy is my forte or action is my forte. I mean, I have been I have been calibrated as an action maker. I personally think it's the script. I mean, that is really what matters. Immaterial, what it is. It could be a love story. But it has to make sense when I'm hearing it. I don't say I have to be right, that I'm picking on the best. I mean, if I knew what, I mean, if I, if I was that good, I wouldn't have made a flop. I probably would have made only super hits. But it's that paperwork that has to inspire me. Like I said, good or bad, but it has to, it has to hit me. If it does, I can make anything. And I know I can. I mean, and it's, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a yarn. I can do anything, and which I have. I mean, I've, I've made action, I've made comedy. I made an emotional film which didn't run, Boxer. It was a very emotional film. I'm very proud of that film. Didn't run, that is different. Uh, consider this is about your performance from a That is, see, there again I have Akshay. Akshay is playing one of the sons of Anupam Kher. The two families, basically. One side you have Anupam with three sons, the other side you have Moshami with three daughters. They both have problems because, I mean, all their children are really spoiled. They are brats. The boys and the girls meet. They don't do anything, I mean, to start with. They meet, they fall in love. The father reacts, the mother reacts on the other side. That what nonsense. There's a confrontation between Anupam and Moshami. And at one stage you realize that Anupam and Moshami have fallen in love. And the boys and the girls react. I mean, that come on, guys. I mean, if, you know, if the mom and dad get married, we become brothers and sisters. Now what? So they try to get them apart. And then the, uh, the film, towards the maybe after the 12th reel, takes an emotional turn, where you do realize that that was a complete plan between Anupam and Moshmi to get the boys and the girls on the right track, because Anupam had only six months to live. He's dying. He's dying of cancer. So because of his time limit, he ganged up with Moshmi. They made this plan. And the film culminates on a very nice note. Boys have changed. The girls have changed. Anupam does die, obviously. 